Okay, so Maggie Mae is probably the only song in my repertoire that really deserves this guitar. But it's really cool. Hi, I'm Jack from Guitar Showcase in San Jose, California. And I'm holding one of the most unusual instruments I've ever had the good fortune to actually play. This is a Richard, I'm reading my crib sheet here, Richard Murmur Jr. Handmade Triple Neck. Koa. Because, you know... If you're going to go, go, go big or don't go, you know? All koa, except for the, uh, the necks are mahogany, as they should be. I suspect it looks like ebony. I'm not a carpenter. I don't claim to know my woods. I just claim to know what I like playing. Um, you know, and there's a couple of songs where, uh, you know, having the ability in the middle of the song to change. I mean, a capo would help. Uh, but being able to change from, from uh, style of guitar, you know, from 6 string to 12 string to mandolin. I, I can't play this way. three tonalities available is kind of useful in certain things, particularly if you're trying to cut, you know, get by with one guitar player in a band. Uh, so it's just really cool. The detail work is really phenomenal. Nice, subtle inlays. A lot of blue. I'm not sure what that is. I, I don't know my stones at well either. And there's some interesting things you can do with a triple neck guitar. So you're playing your six string. to it. We've got the 12 string kicking in. Or the mandolin now. There, that shows it off. Or So you get all the subtle resonance, it's kind of like a sitar with the res drone strings and stuff. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah. All my favorite 12 string songs. Uh, going to be a short segment because I'm running out of things to say on this fine Wednesday. Uh, we do have a question or two. Uh, two, actually. Um, flip it over again. I notice it has bolt-on necks, which is sort of unusual in an acoustic guitar. Yes, uh, but I can think of a couple of really good reasons to do that. The body, because it's so large, um, it would be difficult to brace it in a way that a, a normal set neck would would work. I'm totally making this up. But with a bolt on, you bolt to a nice block here, and so you have a, a, a good join between the neck and the body, uh, and that frees up having to worry about bracing the necks into the body. Uh, that's just a guess, but it rings true to me. We have some cavities here so we can get into work on the electronics. Do you know what kind of pickups this is using? Um, well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Paizo's. I don't know who's. Um, th there's, there's e even could be a good case made for that everybody uses the same guy. Some garage in Nebraska who's building Paizo's for everybody because it's just a strip of Paizo magnetic material. Uh, but uh, this has got to be a cool piece. Uh, I feel bad. Uh, sorry, I should say, for the owner. This is a consignment piece that doesn't actually belong to us, who feels compelled to uh, liquidate for whatever reason, because he played, as near as we can tell, pretty much close to $7,000 directly to the luthier, so that's effectively wholesale. If this was something Gibson or Martin or Taylor was going to market, 
it'd be a $15,000 guitar if it was a dime, and that's street pricing. So, I mean, this is a very uh, worthy instrument, and I'm not really allowed to talk about the $3,000 we're asking for it, uh, but it's a steal. If you need to play Maggie Mae, you gotta have this guitar. Rod, if you're watching, pick this up for your guy. Rod's wealthy enough that he can afford somebody to play mandolin. She's awfully pretty, uh, as well as guitar. somebody else playing the guitar part, so you don't have to do that. Uh, but if you're a poor, starving musician and need to cover the tune, I, I, I may borrow this for the club tonight, play Maggie Mae. Uh, anyway, it, it's, it's just really sweet. <laughs> enough nonsense for today. My name is Jack uh, Van Breen from Guitar Showcase in San Jose, California. Thanks for dropping by. Come by and see the store. Uh, we just remodeled. We've added another 100 acoustic guitars. It's a sight to be seen. Thanks. Bye.